parents one might ask what's the connection between the two simple connection who created you Allah who did he choose to bring you through into this world your parents that's the connection it was Allah's choice did you apply ever before you were born oh Allah I want to be born in Bosman I want to be born for example parents who are loaded rich you know I want to have parents with blue eyes I want to have this and no way it was Allah's choice if we had application forms there would have been a disaster Allah says we haven't kept it for you we have kept it for ourselves so just respect your parents no matter who they are they could be Muslim they could be non-Muslim they could be sinful people they could be people who are far and astray you respect them you may correct them you may even want to distance yourself but respectfully if they have an evil influence or they are instructing you to do something haram imagine the Sahaba عنهم, used to ask the Prophet وسلم, about their parents, some of whom were not Muslim. And the Prophet وسلم, always responded, be kind to them, be good to them, even if they're not Muslim. The only time you don't listen to them is when they instruct you to do something in transgression of the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala beautifully puts it, وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا Then Allah says, وَلَا أَوْلَادَكُمْ there was something that used to happen at the time of the Prophet ﷺ. They used to be embarrassed to have female children. Every time there was a girl born, as soon as the child was born, they used to kill the child. By doing what? Burying them alive. So Allah says, don't you dare do that. Don't bury your children because of poverty. Min imlaq. Because of poverty. And then Allah says, نَحْنُ نَرُزُقُكُمْ وَإِيَّاهُمْ We will sustain you. We will provide for you and for the child. Each child comes with his or her own sustenance. You know, I have an elderly person who met me and I asked him, how many children do you have? He says, I have 12 children. I said, oh, mashallah. He says, it was tough bringing them up, but now I can sit. Each one of them comes and gives me an allowance on a monthly basis. And I'm a wealthy man. I've got so much of surplus. And I paused and thought for a moment, at the beginning, you think I'm only going to have two children because you know what? It's very expensive to bring up children. Not realizing if both of them become druggies, may Allah protect us all, you're gone. Who's going to look after you when you're old? But if you had 10 children, the chances of one of them at least looking after you are great. Subhanallah. So you are wiser to have a few more children so, so that your the risk of you not being looked after are minimized. Come on, come on. Think about it. It might be difficult initially, but then again, everyone grows. Everyone comes with their own sustenance. Allah says, don't kill your children for this reason. If you are worried about money and wealth, Allah will provide for you and for them. So this verse says, Min imlaq. In another place, Allah says, Khashyata imlaq. Don't kill your children fearing poverty. Notice the first verse I read, you're already poor. And then you want to kill your children or you don't want to have children because you're poor. So Allah says, we will provide for you and for the child. 